Well, hey everyone, it's Drunken Otaku here, and today we're reacting to The Girls' Last Tour, Episode 2. So, I am loving this show so far. With its bleak background and world. And, uh, frankly, I'm just like, kind of looking forward to learning about the world as they casually explore it, looking for food and resources. <laughs> like, I don't see this probably having an overall plot, but I just love the world and the way it looks and everything. So I'm just excited for that element. So let's get this going here in three, two, one. Making snowballs. <laughs> so are there other people like Small amounts, but still other people hanging around. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, then. That's true. All right, here's the OP. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. <laughs> they dabbed. <laughs> Also, like how grainy it looked right there. Man, White Fox nails the sound department, man. What we got here? You need to get some shelter. Oh, cool. Crap. Did 
definitely going to be a little warmer. Keep the wind off you once you get inside. Oh, it's a power plant. Mmm. Um, ricochets. I was actually nervous there for a second. Uh, still nervous. I probably feel pretty good, though, honestly, considering how cold it is outside. <laughs> okay. Three. I wouldn't want to get out, though, after that journal. I like the writing system. That's what's the thing I always enjoy when they have their own writing system and stuff in a show. Well, that's that's fortunate right there. <laughs> that's true. But you couldn't read the um power plant uh, word um, sign. So I guess it's a writing system she's not familiar with.
Well, that sucks. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Wow. <laughs> Don't burn any more. Man, the sound effects just make you feel so unsettled. Oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome. Then we've lost the book, we still have the journals. Man, I'm loving the art design in this so much. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you.
when it was coming. Yeah, there we go. Those are uh, camel bags. That's true. <coughs> well, you gotta do it when you gotta do it. So they've never seen the ocean. <laughs> yep, that's <laughs> a clue right there for the <laughs> what they were just talking about. <laughs> they found a fish. Oh, wow. All animal life is gone, too. Yeah, I'd be wondering that myself. <laughs>
None of it's going to be any good. Next chapter could be called Food Poisoning. <laughs> A higher level. Oh. Okay. Like a multi structured city. Okay. I heard the um, the manga artist is actually the one who did the ED here. And that's awesome looking. This is catchy. This is really catchy. All right. That was adorable. That was great. That was great. Oh. Hmm. All right. All right. Good second episode. Got a lot of uh, more uh, little pieces of the world and history and things like that. It was cool. This this. this little bits this little bits that's what i live for though that kind of level that kind of level of world building just you know the stuff you got pieced together on your own i love it mm. you know they have their fun cute moments and their struggle to survive each and every day <laughs> those cute moments are always constantly colored by the, the bleak empty setting so this time we found out there's like multiple levels of cities so they built up and uh there's a she knows how to read and write and the letters look similar but maybe she doesn't have a full comprehension of the language um yeah i'm, I'm going to take a look at the letters actually So here's a sign. Take a quick look at it. Okay, so the letters looks like 
kanji, I guess. I am um, not entirely possible. And she can't, she can't read that. So then we skip to her journal. And her journal... Looks like a different writing system. So, okay, I guess that's wrong. So, yeah, it looks like a completely different writing system. Okay. All right. So, so it must have been um, from whoever came before their group did, you know. And, you know, this world kind of reminds me of um, Midworld. In the Dark Tower series, where everything's just run down and lost technology, and most people don't know how to work anything. They've forgotten how, you know? And, like, everything's just slowly winding down. The only difference is they do have animals. Most of them are heavily mutated, but they do have animals. Uh, and this one, they seems like the only thing around is humans. You know, other than that fish they just found. So all animal life is gone. Is there, have we seen plants yet? I don't think so. Is there plant life? There'd have to be plant life. Unless they have oxygen machines that's providing the oxygen. There has to be plant life though. All right. <laughs> if there's oxygen machines providing the oxygen for the world and it's slowly winding down, that's even more depressing. <sighs> but he has a barren, dead world. <sighs> Alright, well, this is Drunken Attack. I'm heading out for now. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later. Hey, everyone. This is the part of the video in which I shill for myself. I put it at the very end so you can easily skip it if you don't want to watch. All relevant links are in the description below. If you feel like supporting this channel, the best thing you can ever do is hit like and subscribe. But if you feel like taking it a step further, feel free to either follow me on my Twitter or join my Discord server. If you want to go plus ultra, I have a Patreon setup. If there's a show you want to see me react to that you don't think will ever win one of my polls, this is a great option. Finally, if you're planning on purchasing anything from Right Stuff or JList, I have links in my description that will kick back a bit of your purchase my way. And as always, I hope you have a great day.